A new telescope for mapping the sky is starting work at ESO's Paranal Observatory in Chile and has just released its first images. It's called VISTA, or the Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy, and it's the largest and most powerful infrared survey telescope ever built. This is the ESOcast, cutting-edge science and life behind the scenes of ESO, the European Southern Observatory, exploring the universe's ultimate frontier with our host, Dr. J, a.k.a. Dr. Joe Liske. Hello and welcome to another episode of the ESOcast. Now, even for an observatory like ESO, it's a special occasion when a new telescope starts operations. VISTA is the first survey telescope at ESO's Paranal Observatory and it's dedicated to mapping the sky at infrared wavelengths. It will chart the southern sky to much greater depth and with much greater sharpness than has ever been done before. The first images have just been released and they clearly show that VISTA is working extremely well. Interesting things found by VISTA will form targets for detailed study both by the neighboring ESO telescopes, such as the four 8-meter VLT unit telescopes, and by other observatories on Earth and in space. VISTA will find the rare needles in the cosmic haystack, and then the VLT can study these needles in great detail, so astronomers can try to understand what they are and what's going on in the universe. Well, VISTA was conceived in the UK about 10 years ago and a consortium got together to get it built and it's now become an ESO telescope as part of the UK's contribution on joining ESO. VISTA has a main mirror that is 4.1 metres across, which makes it the largest telescope in the world that is entirely dedicated to surveying the sky. The mirror is also the most highly curved of its size and quality ever made and its construction was a major challenge. The telescope is housed in a dome near ESO's VLT on Cerro Paranal, which means that it shares the top quality observing conditions of that site. At the heart of VISTA is a three-ton camera containing 16 special detectors sensitive to infrared light with a combined total of 67 megapixels. This huge instrument provides the widest sky coverage of any astronomical near-infrared camera. VISTA is a telescope with infrared camera and this allows us to study the look at the sky in a way that we can't see with an optical camera. So specifically, infrared cameras see preferentially cool objects, objects at a high redshift, or indeed objects that are hidden behind dust clouds. VISTA is performing a total of six huge surveys over the next five years. Some focus on small patches of sky for long periods to detect extremely faint and distant objects and others image the entire southern sky. The surveys study the distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters, help unravel the mysterious nature of dark matter and dark energy, and look for rare objects, all the way from tiny but dangerous near-Earth asteroids out to the most remote quasars in the early universe. Our own Milky Way galaxy and its neighbours, the Magellanic Clouds, also received their own surveys. VISTA generates several hundred gigabytes worth of data every night of observing. That's about as much as all of the VLT instruments put together. These data flow into ESO's archive system at its headquarters in Germany, and they are then sent on to the UK for further processing. The first images show the power of the telescope to image large areas of the sky quickly and deeply. One of the first VISTA images released shows the Flame Nebula, a spectacular region of gas and dust where stars are being formed. VISTA's infrared eyes can see through the dust and reveal the cluster of hot young stars in the heart of the cloud. At the bottom of the wide VISTA field of view, the ghostly form of the Horsehead Nebula is faintly visible. VISTA has also created a dramatic view in the direction of the centre of our Milky Way galaxy. The wide field of view of the telescope and the highly sensitive infrared detectors of its camera allow over one million stars to be seen, many normally hidden behind dust. The Fornax cluster of galaxies is one of the nearest rich collections of galaxies. 
Vista's large field allows many of the cluster's galaxies to be imaged at once, including the elegant classical barred spiral galaxy NGC 1365 at the lower right. This unique image shows several of Vista's impressive capabilities. Well, Vista's users will be not only the European astronomers who set up and specified these surveys in the first place, but because they're public surveys and the results will be available worldwide, astronomers over the whole world will be using them to extract exciting results. And in many ways, history shows that the most exciting results that come out of things like this are often what you least expect. Obviously, I don't know what that is. VISTA will give astronomers an entirely new view of the southern sky, and we're all eagerly awaiting the results from this powerful new addition to ESO's observational toolkit. This is Dr. J, signing off for the ESOcast. Join us again next time for another adventure. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing details on the surface of a star millions and millions of kilometers away. Imagine having eyesight so keen that you could check out the surroundings of a black hole. Using ESO's Very Large Telescope Interferometer at Paranal, astronomers are now making these fantasies a reality. Hello and welcome to another episode of the ESOcast. This time, we'll take a closer look at a fascinating special observing technique that gets used at ESO's Very Large Telescope, or VLT for short. This technique is called interferometry. It lets you combine the light collected by two or even more telescopes in such a way as to make the individual telescopes act as if they were part of a single virtual telescope that is much bigger than the ones that you started with. Each of the four VLT unit telescopes has a primary mirror with a diameter of 8.2 meters. Such big mirrors are necessary because they collect more light and provide sharper images. Under ideal conditions and with the appropriate technology, the individual VLT unit telescope can see details of objects in space that are equivalent to viewing a tennis ball on the International Space Station from the Earth. This corresponds to a distance of about 350 kilometers. Now this may sound like a really impressive number, but astronomers figured out that they could do even better. Because frontline research requires studying the heavens in ever-increasing detail, New ways were sought to increase the VLT's already eagle-eyed vision even further. And this is where interferometry comes in. Interferometry combines the light received by two or more telescopes that are simultaneously observing the same object. This allows astronomers to pick out details as sharply as if observing with a single telescope whose mirror has a diameter equivalent to the largest distance between the telescopes. The VLT design always had the use of interferometry very much in mind. The four 8.2 meter unit telescopes of the VLT were built in a roughly trapezoidal configuration that can generate a virtual telescope mirror of up to 140 meters across. In addition, four movable 1.8 meter auxiliary telescopes can be combined in a configuration with an equivalent diameter of up to 200 meters. This gives images up to 25 times sharper than those from a single VLT unit telescope. Combining the light collected by different telescopes is a major technical challenge and it requires incredible precision. The light beams from each telescope have to pass underground through a complex system of mirrors and delay lines before they can be combined at the common focus. Delay lines are an integral part of the VLT interferometer's complicated optical system. They ensure that the light beams arrive simultaneously at the common focus. To achieve this, several movable carriages loaded with ultra-smooth mirrors constantly adjust the light beams with extreme precision. The light paths must be kept equal to distances less than one thousandth of a millimeter over a distance of 100 meters. Without this kind of accuracy, the light cannot be analyzed properly by the observatory's instruments. The VLT interferometer really is a masterpiece of technology. In order for it to be functional every night, all of its many high-tech components must interact with flawless precision. Only then can astronomers benefit from the enormous observational power of this fantastic instrument. The VLT interferometer provides astronomers with the ability to study celestial objects in unprecedented detail. 
it is possible to study the surfaces of distant stars, to determine the shape of asteroids, or even capture the surroundings of black holes. The VLT interferometer has produced one of the sharpest images ever obtained of a star. The breathtaking sharpness of this image is equivalent to seeing the head of a screw on the International Space Station from the ground. Orion the Hunter is one of the most striking constellations in the sky and is a familiar sight to amateur and professional astronomers alike. The Orion Nebula is faintly visible to the naked eye as a dim glow in the hunter's sword. This swirling cloud of gas and dust is 1500 light years from Earth and has fascinated astronomers since the earliest days of the telescope. Appearing to the eye as a small cluster of blue-white stars surrounded by a mysterious mist, the nebula's vast dusty regions have long hidden from human eyes an enormous stellar nursery full of young, hot stars. The visible and infrared survey telescope for astronomy, or VISTA, has taken a spectacular new image that reveals some of the nebula's buried secrets. VISTA is the latest addition to ESO's Paranel Observatory in Chile and it's the largest survey telescope in the world, with a mirror measuring 4.1 meters in diameter. It's dedicated to mapping the sky in the infrared part of the spectrum. By looking in the infrared instead of visible light, VISTA is able to peer straight through the obscuring gas and dust in the Orion Nebula. That's because in the infrared, at about twice the wavelength of visible light, the dust in the nebula turns largely transparent, giving us a clear view of the young stars that lie within. Other telescope has ever been able to not only see through the dust to reveal the hidden features buried within the Orion Nebula, but also to show its huge extent in amazing detail in a single image. At the very heart of the nebula lie the four brilliant stars forming the trapezium, a group of very hot young stars pumping out fierce ultraviolet radiation that is clearing the surrounding region and making the gas glow. Observing in the infrared also allows VISTA to reveal many other young stars in this central region that cannot be seen in visible light. In this dusty region of the nebula, gas jets shot out by young stars at around 700,000 km an hour have collided with the surrounding gas and dust, exciting it and sculpting strange red shapes. Normally invisible, these curious wisps provide important clues for astronomers as they try to understand how stars are born and what happens in their early years. As impressive as this image is, it is just the beginning of what VISTA will reveal with its unparalleled ability to survey the sky, both quickly and deeply in the infrared part of the spectrum. This is Dr. J signing off for the ESOcast. Join me again next time for another cosmic adventure.